I'll be actually sleeping. And with any kind of luck, I'm getting over here so you can see it. I'll be hopefully sleeping right up in that area. Um, with the truck, like right there. So when I get to that point, boy, that's going to be that's going to be a big day, right? Um, with any kind of luck, now I don't know about a trailer, but with any kind of luck, I'll have an ATV and you know a, a tent to sleep in, and that road grader perhaps. Now, I don't know where I'm going to keep the trailer with the ATV because I'm not going to be able to you know turn it around in here i don't think there's enough room maybe you know at some point i'll get it figured out but yeah i was really demotivated because i didn't think i was getting anything done because this never-ending brush pile that i keep feeding to the fire uh but i mean there's actually some room in here and i can walk through there pretty easily um and really get a, a good view of all this this mess that's right there. All these evergreens right here that go back up into where those aspens are. All of those are, I mean, they're just in the way, right? So I, I'm going to pull that all out. I'm going to try to get myself an area in here that can be the workshop. So that I can start trying to figure out how to get back up in there. Because I don't want to build where I'm at. This is this is all just a temporary area that I'm in right here. And it will always be just a temporary area. Um, the parking lot. That's what I called it. That's what it's going to be. This is where, you know, I'll have a carport at some point And, you know, park all the, the big vehicles and let the ATVs roll. Um, yeah, there's going to be quite a bit of work to be done before that happens because the driveway coming in here and i'm not sure how much of this is going to show up but i figured i'd give it a shot so <clears throat> i still got this great big stump right here that's in the way this is just a massive stump that's in the way that i'm going to have to get rid of but to that aspen Got a glare from the sun. That aspen right there, that aspen will stay. Um, probably have to take out both of these big guys here um, so that I can open this up because so that you know I can drive back in. That pine has to go. This is the driveway. And just look at how dense this is. I mean, there's. 40 or 50 trees right in this little tiny area here that I have to take out to put a road in. And there's a nice big aspen there. Going to keep him. Um, but that's the left-hand side. Where that aspen is is going to be the left-hand side of the road, the driveway. And, I mean, just, just look at how dense this, I mean... And every single one of these is a stump that I'm going to have to rip out of the ground. So there is a, a, an absolute metric F-ton of work to do before I can drive my truck on a driveway to, you know, where I'm going to sleep. And this is just like the first phase, right? So, yeah, um... Gotta take that dead guy out of, the, out of there too. There's quite a bit of work to be done. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, like I said, I was getting demotivated, but boy, I've already got a whole bunch done, and I'm not, you know, I'm not going absolute ape garbage back in here and working 15-hour days and. You know, working myself to complete an utter exhaustion. I'm taking my time and I'm getting it done. And um, I'm seeing some progress from, from that very first video where you walk up in here and it was just from here. It was just a mess. There was no room to walk anywhere. And now there's room. So... With any kind of luck, I'll be able to show y'all what I get done between now and 
when I leave on Monday. Thanks for watching.